how's it going folks? About 17 or 18 weeks ago I planted out five root pouches up the side of the house with some potatoes. I think they're a kestrel variety and it's pretty much all time to empty the pouches out and see what sort of a harvest we've got. Um, I'm, yeah, I've, I'm not holding out much hope for a bumper crop. I put them in a position in our yard that I don't really travel up and down very often so I have neglected them and yeah they've sort of died off a little bit prematurely don't really think I'm going to get a bumper yield but I said I'd show you the harvest so here we go. So here we go pouch number one um, as you can see the plants have already died off and we've got a couple of the um, Cape gooseberries that have started to germinate in this one um, in some of the other pouches we got tomatoes and all sorts of things just toss that aside so here we go fingers crossed and I can see one spud break this open oh, there's a couple of worms in here still so it mustn't have dried out too much they seem to be looking all right a couple of spuds here there's loads of these compost worms still in here so yeah the conditions must be all right actually I just saw a cocoon there's a cocoon on that one just there I don't know if you can make him out um, so yeah they're obviously doing all right in here So there we go, a couple of spuds from pouch number one, we can pop them aside. Pouch number two has a nightshade of some variety growing in it and a couple of baby Cape gooseberries, tip him out. Ah, this one looks to have done a little bit better, still got loads of worms in this one too, a couple of spuds. Oh, some nice, oh, I'd say that's the seed potato, that one. A bit manky. There's harvest number two. So I got a lot of scabby blight on a couple of these potatoes. Not too sure what that is, so I'll have to look that up when I'm done here. Next pouch has tomato <laughs> and more Cape gooseberries. Boy, he's a nice looking spud. He's nice and clean. And I'd say that's the seed potato. Toss him on the side. So this one here, has some nice looking spuds in there. Loads of babies. Loads of worms again. Pouch number three has a lot of little babies and a couple of the larger ones. Don't want those babies left in there, they'll sprout. Pouch number four. Oh, this one's green. It's a bit strange. So there's pouch number four. Not a huge yield. For the last pouch. Very dry in here. So there's a bit of a manky spud. Nice large ones. So there we go. There's the spuds from the last bag. So not a great deal there at all, really. So I'll give you a look at the total harvest. Nothing spectacular, that's for sure, for the amount of potatoes I put in. I did pull a couple of potatoes out um, before they were finished just because they would look like they'd had some sort of leaf uh, disease on them. Um, just to show you, very bad case of potato scab on a fair few of these guys. So um, we'll definitely will not be using this soil to grow any more potatoes. Um, it'll have something else in there that's not affected by the scab. Um, a couple of them which surprised me, have come out with green marks on them. Now I buried these guys fairly deep and they had no exposure to direct sunlight so that sort of confused me a little bit. Not too sure why that's um, happened. But I'd say a um, couple of nice big ones. <laughs> I'd say we'd get at least you know two or three meals out of here. Um, I've processed potatoes nowhere near as bad as this before but cut the manky bits off and we can still put them in mash or whatever so this just goes to show if you don't put the effort in you know you can't expect a bumper yield um, especially with container gardening so I'm not going to weigh these guys up mainly because you know there's so many manky bits on there I don't know how much we're going to get to actually eat uh, definitely no Brendan or Dan style of harvest so yeah I've still got a ways to go but fingers crossed the purple ones I'm about to plan out will do a lot better than these guys
Just to give you a bit of a closer look at this scab affected potato, you can see little lesions starting on this uh, potato here, and they're pretty much all going to bloom out into some nice warty growths like this one here. Um, what it is, it's actually a small organism, uh, bacteria like so I've read, um, that lives in the soil. It enters through the young skin of the potato or wounds in the, the stalk or branches. Definitely something you don't want in your soil. Uh, it affects other crops, rooting crops like your carrots, your beetroots, parsnips, and that sort of thing so once you have it in there it's a good idea to try and you know not plant rooting crops out in there again it doesn't like an acidic soil um, where potatoes will do all right in a, a, an acidic soil um, doesn't like it at all it does like dry soil though which is one thing I gave it I gave it nice dry soil um, so it could thrive in there uh, one of the best ways to combat it though is to have nice clean disease free soil and to buy certified disease free seed potatoes something I didn't do these are just some kestrels that shot in a bag in the pantry so we planted them out so yeah I thought I'd just um, pass on that information might save you a lot of pain um, we still do have a couple of nice ones in here though like this one's got a couple of blemishes on him he's pretty nice so we'll get a nice disease free meal as such um, tonight out of him and probably another one after that so while not a bumper harvest you know still some edible ones in there also too just while I'm mentioning it, these root pouches, um, there'll be some soil left in here that'll quite possibly have um, some of those microorganisms in there that will um, bloom into scab if I planted potatoes or other root crops in here again. So what I can do with these guys is I can throw them in the washing machine, wash them, uh, then hang them out on the clothesline or just out on the back lawn and let them solarize for a couple of days, turn them inside out, and that will hopefully break the cycle. And then I could quite happily plant potatoes in here again if I wanted to. Um, I suppose you could use an antibacterial soap we just don't have any here you could also probably give them a good dose of vinegar as well um, that would probably kill off the bacterium as well so there you go folks there's a look at the dismal potato harvest from the root pouches up the side of the house uh, not the root pouches fault totally user error um, I really shouldn't have had them up there uh, they should have been out the back here somewhere that I walk by a couple of times a day just to keep an eye on them remember to water them um, yeah water does help when you're growing plants just a bit of a hint Hope you enjoyed the clip. I did promise that I'd show you um, what sort of a harvest we get, no matter if it was a good one or a bad one. So there you go. So if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, feel free to pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you where I can. Hope you enjoyed the clip and that you're all well and happy and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, folks. Chook food. <laughs>